Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Let's power up together. Little smiley face. Now, if we press this button a couple times, we should see a little thing there. That's pretty cute. That's adorable. And so what if we get to this and we just keep annoying the crap out of it? Let's see. Oh, no, it got angry. Oh, come on, go back. What do we got to do to get you angry? There we go. She's angry. Look at that angry face. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> oh, what's going on, YouTube? This is what we Josh do, and this is a super exciting video because this is a brand new product from Ugreen. This has a smart digital display. It shows the input, the output, the battery level. It's ideal for flight. It is safe charging multi-protection. It's got power delivery. It's got quick charge. It's got SCP. It's got PPS, programmable power supply. That's for you Samsung folks that want to see super fast charging when you plug in your device. 140 watts max. That's crazy. That means you're going to charge up that MacBook Pro at its full rated speed or any device that's capable of receiving PD 3.1. This is the ne uh, Nexode ne Noxide uh, <laughs> 25,000 mAh fast charging, two USB-C in and out, and then one USB-A out. So 200 watts, laptop, tablet, Phone, camping, camera, watch, earbuds, switch. We have a bunch of information here on the back. USB-C 1 input can do 65 watts max. USB-C 2 input can do 65 watts max. We're going to try and see if we can do both of those and uh, combine it. So USB-C 1 can do up to 140. USB-C 2 can do up to 100. So that's awesome. Combined, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 200 watts. So you can connect that laptop and go at 100 watts and connect that RG Ally X and go at 100 watts and, you know, or his and her laptops at 100 watts, you know? So that's super exciting, that USB-A output. I'm only ever going to charge up some earbuds with that, something slow. I mean, come on, that's just, it's 2024. Stop using that port. 25,000 mAh. 90 watt hours so that's pretty cool got some more information here and then we have some safety listings here and then we have the upc and model number here all right let's open this thing up this is the big boy this is the alpha the omega <laughs> this is the end all be all let's go okay so we also got to take this one off here too oh i was supposed to wait to do that one so does it okay it pushes through Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. Let's power up together. Little smiley face. Oh, man. Okay, so let's power up together, shall we? Oh, wow. I love this presentation, the way it opens up, just everything about it. It's pretty cool. So we got a goodies box in here. So we've got a nice little case. This is great. So you can like throw this in a backpack and it's protected and you're not worrying about your screen getting scratched up on your power bank because as the years go by, trust me, it'll get harder and harder to read the text on the back for like the serial number, for example, if you ever need a warranty claim or something. All right, we've got the instruction booklet here. Now I like to go ahead and just briefly show this because you might acquire this someday and yours doesn't come with the instructions or there might be something on here I didn't know about and I'm able to see it even though I lose these instructions. So we got the display screen, shows a bunch of information there, such as what all the ports are doing, shows the volts and amps going in and out. Oh, it's so exciting, I love that. So we have a double click, a single click, and a press and hold for three seconds to enter trickle charging mode, that's huge because you can charge up those low power devices. Normally this thing's smart enough to turn off on its own when it detects that no power is going to the device because it's done charging. But if you've got like a game controller or some earbuds, you don't want that happening because it's gonna see like half a watt or one watt as no power is going out. And in that trickle charging mode, it's gonna allow it to keep charging. So this is good for if you ever have any issues with your power bank and you need to troubleshoot what any of the errors mean. This shows what the ports can do. So 140 on one, 100 on the top one, 22.5 on the uh, USB-A, and then both USB-C can do 100, 100. If you use the USB-C and the USB-A, you can do 140 and 22.5. And then if you use the USB-C and the USB-A, you can do 10 watts. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That's slow. <laughs> Don't use USB-A, just, just don't. Uh, 10 watts, 10 watts, 140 watts. So, I mean, if you're charging up your laptop and your earbuds, use the USB-A to charge your earbuds, that's fine. 
But don't charge your phone or your tablet. I had someone comment that their uh, giant power bank took 15 hours to charge using USB-A to USB-C. And I'm like, yeah, what'd you think? Get you a USB-C to USB-C and (laughs) wait four hours, not 15. (laughs) Oh, man. Those... (laughs) It's 2024, man. Come on. I'm going to rename my channel, stop using USB-A. <laughs> it's funny because I have such a hard time finding one now when I'm when I'm like, crap, I, re- I need a USB-A to USB-C or USB-A to Lightning. So we got that cable so we can charge up the device using this thing. It's a short little guy. And then we got the massive unit here. So, all right. So it's got a little screen. Let's peel this off because it's hard to read that screen with this thing on. And uh, press the power button on the side here. So let's power up together. Cute little animation. Shows 35%. Got the Ugreen logo. It says more than power. On the back of it, we've got some information that shows... It should show everything that we saw on the instructions and on the back of the box. So you can pause that and read that for yourself. Then we got some safety listings. Then we got some rubber feet. When you set this down on a table, it's not going to go anywhere. That's very nice. Love to see that. All right, let's take a look at the offerings of the ports here. So in and out two, in and out one. So this one's going to be the uh, the the alpha. This, this, this is going to be Bravo. This is going to be second. So definitely uh, prioritize using that one whenever you can. And then uh, just ignore that this one's the... <laughs> just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just giving you a hard time there. But uh, yeah, so that's exciting. Now, it has different modes. So if you press it, it goes through different screens. Let's go ahead and connect this thing up to a charger. Now this thing only accepts 65 watts of input, but it says it can do two inputs. So we're gonna see, this is a 160 watt charger. So this is good because this is a little bit overkill. It's more than what it's is needed. It's not gonna have to work as hard to charge the device. So we're gonna use the included cable, connect up the plug here, and then we'll focus on in and out one. So on here we have a nice screen. I have bright lights, so it's really dim even to me looking at it, unless I look at it directly. But uh, it shows us the power that's going in. Here it shows us the volts and amps with a little thing that's going to tell us like if it's dropping down or going up or whatever. And then we're back to this screen. Now if we press this button a couple times, we should see a little thing there. That's pretty cute. That's adorable. And so what if we get to this and we just keep annoying the crap out of it let's see oh no it got angry oh come on go back it got angry i want to see the angry come on what do we what do we got to do to get you angry hold on let's all right (laughs) she's so mad at me she won't come back i was trying to get her angry face and on this screen it also shows you the time remaining so it says it'll take one hour and 11 minutes to fully charge this battery up There we go. She's angry. Look at that angry face. It's <laughs> so mad. <laughs> All right. So what we're doing now is connecting a second charger, and we're going to plug it into this port right here. Okay. So now it says USB-C 2 is charging. Let's plug up this one. Oh, man. It really looked like you could do two inputs at the same time. That's just... Oh, man. That's a bummer. It was so unplug one and the other starts to charge. Oh, dude. I was really hoping for for two inputs, but whatever. At least it's charging at 65 watts, which is higher than the others that we've tested so far. Plug in that. Gosh dang it. I was I was really excited. So we unplugged this one. Oh, 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 it's showing two. It's showing two. All right, that got my hopes up. I got excited. Come on. All right, so we're going to turn off the power to both of these with the button press, and then we're going to turn both on at the same exact time. What happens? What happens? All right, so USB-C. Oh, come on. That was a tease. It showed both. Yeah, see, it showed both for a second. It got me all excited. All right, let's wait for this thing to fully charge up. It says one hour and seven minutes. All right, so this thing did, like I said, um, once it was 100%, I saw that 10 watts is going into it, and then eventually got down to the point where it was just putting in zero wattage, so that's when I knew that it was completely done, but uh, I really do like that animation. That's awesome. So 
basically, let's run through some tests, see what this thing is capable of. And let's uh, not forget to weigh it here. Let this thing zero out. It's on grams. We're going to weigh it. It is 592 grams. Put that into perspective. Here is the 130 watt version, and it is 476. And the 100 watt version is 308. So that's 12,000 mAh. And this is 20,000 mAh. And this is 25,000 mAh. I've done a separate video on each of these so far. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is connect power to this tester. I'm gonna use the provided Ugreen cable and I'm gonna plug it into that more powerful port. Oh, so that is a 140 watt port. This cable might not actually do 140 watts. So I have to remember if I don't see 140, uh, I will have to rerun this test with a different cable. Oh, okay, okay. So it looks like that cable can actually do 140. Interessante. So it supports AFC up to 24 watts. It supports quick charge three, which is uh, two and three, 12 volts, uh, 3.6 to 12 volts. And then it supports 140 watts. Wow, that's a lot of data there. So it can do 20 volts, five amps, or PPS at up to 21 volts and five amps. And then it can do 28 volts at five amps. So that's crazy. So that's actually insane. The cable that it came with was 240 watts. So 50 volts, five amps. Yeah, so just, I'm, I'm not sure which cables came with which ones. So I'm just making sure that all three of them are the same. All right, let's connect that third cable. Okay, so each one of these units comes with a 240 watt cable. That's pretty crazy. All right, so we know it's super impressive, but what if we connect up the two cables together? And this is something new that I've been trying. So this one on the left is going to be the better cable. We'll connect up this. This is the 140 watt port on there. This is the 100 watt port. So we'll use the other tester that we have. Connect that up. We will also give it some power and we'll go to the same screen. So blue is the lesser port, green is the better port. And we're gonna run both of these tests at the same time and see what happens. Okay, so I can tell right away that the uh, one on the left is showing 100 watts. So we'll select that. That's crazy. So PPS up to five amps, that's super fast charging 2.0. And then the one on the right here, that is 20 volts, five amps, super fast charging 2.0. Wow, so that's pretty freaking slick there. Both of these ports are showing the same exact thing and that they could do 100 watts. So that's an easy 200 watts out of this guy at the same time with two devices that need super fast charging 2.0. So that's freaking awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and connect up this Samsung tablet here. Got the two icons, super fast charging 2.0. And look at that, 39 watts. So we should be able to connect up our Pixel 8 Pro, which uses PPS or a fixed voltage to do its fast charging. And that is also using PPS. So we have both devices using PPS at the same time. That is a very capable unit here. All right, I'm gonna leave the Samsung tablet plugged in and I'm gonna connect my ROG Ally X. So it just renegotiated the power but we're able to do 100 watts using 20 volts, five amps to the RGLI X and our tablet is still charging at a very high speed. And if we don't have fancy testers, we can still look at the screen on here and see that 94 watts is going to USB-C one and this tablet just freaking started an update. <laughs> but it would have showed 40 watts there. Look at that, this little person, this little robot, it's just so happy to be here. It's so happy to provide you the services that it's providing. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Let's let's uh, give it a go away. But uh, so that's awesome. This little screen is showing you everything that's going on. And then here we have a neat little thing. See that graph that shows that it's like up and down, up and down. It's because this thing is currently applying an update and uh, it's not able to do its full charge speed at this moment, but uh, it says 20 volts, 4.7 amps on USB-C one, and uh, it would say whatever the voltage and amps is of this port. And then it says at this current rate, it'll go for 58 minutes. So it gives you the time remaining 
at the current rate that you're charging things. All right, and for the last thing, does it have pass-through charging? We're gonna use that better port here. Since both have in and out, we can probably actually, since both have in and out, and we know this thing only charges at 65 watts, let's plug that into the charger and we'll save the better port for the output. So now, so now we connect the ROG Ally X and we do have pass-through charging. So this is currently providing 94 watts to the freaking ROG Ally X and it's currently charging the power bank at 62.7 watts. So it says it'll go for two hours and 45 minutes right now because we're using more than we're putting back into this thing. So this thing will deplete but it will deplete at a slower rate than if we were just drawing 100 watts without putting anything back into it at all. So this thing is extremely capable. The only downside is the fact that it only has 65 watts of input for the best version of this power bank, and you're still only getting 65 watts that all the other three get. That's its biggest downfall because there's other things that can push 100 watts to my RG Ally X while it's receiving 140 from the wall. Well, that about wraps up this video. I weighed it, I saw that it has passed through. I saw that you can do two devices uh, at up to five amps of PPS at the same time, which is extremely impressive. I like the screen, I like the animations it has, I like everything about it. And in fact, there's a little person, so if you just keep pressing it, look at this, watch this. So yeah, everything's cool, everything's fine, right? Well, you can actually make them very mad. I don't know how many presses it is. They're angry at us. She mad. <laughs> she did not like that at all. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this all the time. And I'm a huge nerd. And if you're a nerd too, you're going to absolutely enjoy my content. In this video, we checked out this version. I will have separate links to these in the description below, as well as a comment that I'll try to remember to pin. And you can go watch these two videos if you're interested in either one of these instead of this one. This one is by far the most capable, but the most expensive. And for what you get, this guy right here is actually very impressive. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.